Well, it is good to see you again. Nice seeing you. It's been a while. Uh, absolutely. You're getting better looking every day. Uh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Same for yourself. Thank you. Can you... I lie like that, but go ahead. <laughs> uh, can, you know, the game has changed quite a bit since you played it. You know, when did you first play the game? It was back in the year 2001? 2001. I was on Survivor 2, the Australian Outback, and that was the second show. And, uh, yes, the game has changed quite a bit. Our show was actually uh, more about surviving Mother Nature. Uh, there was a little bit of the backstabbing, but nothing like what it is now. I mean, the show has completely changed around. Uh, uh, there's been a few Survivor shows. I think maybe some of the people may have actually gained weight when they came over. Because I'm, I'm amazed when I watch the Survivor shows now, and if it's a food challenge, and I see the amount of food that they get, and I, I just sit there and shake my head. I said, I can't believe it, the amount of food. It's just unbelievable. And when we were getting just little morsels. Now, what is your take on the new twist the game has taken with Redemption Island? Are you a fan, not a fan? Yeah, the uh, Redemption Island uh, thing, yeah. I think that has added a lot to the game. It's made it very interesting. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I've, I have thoroughly enjoyed that, yes. Now, did your life change after Survivor? Because Season 2 was huge. You and I were talking just a few moments ago about how successful it actually was. I mean, it made you an instant celebrity, I'm sure. <laughs> Well, you know, celebrity, I don't know. You know, I, I live on a farm up in northern Kentucky, and, uh, you know, my cattle all still look at me the same way as they did <laughs> as they did 10 years ago. Uh, but, but yeah, uh, it, it did open a lot of doors. Uh, you know, it's been over 10 years. I'm going uh, first of September, going to Texas to speak to a group. And for the first year and a half when the show was over, I was literally – gone every week all over the United States and was in Canada three times and enjoyed every every minute of it. I got to meet a lot of nice folks all over the the uh, country and for me it was a very very uh, enjoyable time. Are you still getting recognized by fans? You know I I do get recognized every once in a while not near as much you know it's been 10 years out out of sight out of mind a lot of times people recognize me and I'll see them talking among themselves and maybe pointing at me but you know usually they don't they don't come up but once in a while, yeah, I still have some people come up and want, want an autograph. Now, I think probably the most memorable thing about you from Survivor Australia was your relationship with Elizabeth. Yeah. Are you still in touch with Elizabeth? Uh, Elizabeth and myself are still good friends. We spoke over Christmas time. We'll usually talk a couple times a year. And uh, she, matter of fact, I was on The View about uh, four or five years ago. They flew me up. I was a surprise guest on the show. And uh, so that was the last time I've seen her. But, yeah, we still talk a couple times a year on the phone. Now, what's your take on her uh, stardom all of a sudden? Because she skyrocketed to fame. Well, you know, when Survivor 2 was over and I came back to Kentucky, I said, uh, told my daughter, I said, there's two people that, in my estimation, has a chance of making it in a big time. One of them was Colby. Of course, he's got a show on the History Channel and has been in some movies. And I said, the other one is Elizabeth. I said, if any of them have a chance of making it a big, it'll be those two. And, of course, Elizabeth, I guess, has gone farther than anybody that's been on any of the uh, Survivor shows. And she's always got a very, uh, she's very opinionated and sometimes quite controversial, which I think was a surprise to some fans because she was real quiet and kind of the, the sweet girl next door. And now she's on national television standing her own ground. Well, well you know, Elizabeth is very deceptive. She was a little uh, slender girl out there, but she was very physically strong, very deceptive looking. And, and if she got her mind set on something, you know, she was pretty well had it set that in that uh, direction. So, yeah, she's a very strong-willed individual and uh, never was afraid to uh, give us her beliefs in the outback. So the view just came along and, you know, it's worked out great for her. And, of course, she's got three kids now and uh, doing good. Now, if, uh, if true fans of the show will remember that you found a rock shaped like a heart uh -huh. and you gave it to Elizabeth, do you know if she still has that? Well, you know, I asked her that question probably four or five years ago. I said, do you still have that? She said, sure does. She knows exactly where it's at. So, yeah, she still still got that. Now, back to the game. It's been, like you said, ten years now. Yeah. What is the first thing that comes to your mind when you look back on your days in the Outback? Well, of course, had I been voted out on day three, the first person, I might have a different outlook, uh, outlook on it. For me, it truly was the adventure of a lifetime. You know, I was 53 at that time. Uh, and I was in good shape for a guy of 53, 
Uh, but it was still hard to keep up, you know, with somebody sure. 23 uh, if you're running an obstacle course. Strength-wise, I was very good shape for a guy 53. Uh, they have called me on two other shows. Uh, the reunion show, I got a call. I had to fill out the paperwork, get a physical, and they were looking at 24 of us. Uh, they ended up taking 18 people. I was one of the six that didn't make it. And then they called me and, and another individual uh, about the uh, show that was in Guatemala. And we thought we were going on that one. And uh, then they ended up uh, running, I think, Bobby John and Stephanie back-to-back -back shows. But originally that was going to be what well, was going to be myself and Mike Scoopin, the guy that, guy that got his hands burned on our show. Wow. So would you play again? I mean, it sounds like you would. Tomorrow, if they called, would you go play again? Oh, yes. You know, I've got, uh, I've got two grandkids now that I did not have at that time, uh, ages eight and seven. And, uh, of course, they've watched the show on tape that I've got. But, yeah, I, you know, they were not born, actually, when I was on the show. Love to do it one more time. I'd love it to give it my best shot. Uh, and, and, you know, I was involved in Survivor 2 as far as playing the game a lot more than what they showed on TV. I, every, of course, everybody thinks this every time that they go to tribal council. They always think they know who's going to get voted out. As it turned out, I knew every time who was getting voted out and was right every time. Even the night that I got voted out, I was 99% sure that I was going to get the axe that night. And I had done some things to try to prevent that, but, you know, just Elizabeth and myself was the only two left from the Kucha tribe, so we just didn't have the numbers. So going back a few minutes ago, you said they called you on two occasions, once for uh, Survivor Guatemala and I'm guessing All-Stars? And the, uh, so, uh, what was it called, All-Stars or the Reunion Show? Survivor, uh, it's either All-Stars or the Reunion. No, it wasn't Hero, I didn't get a call on the Heroes versus Villains. Must, must have been the uh, Reunion Show. And uh, yeah, I got it, there was, like I said, there was 24, from what I understand, there was 24 people that they were looking at and they picked 18. Why they didn't pick me, I don't know. I was ready to go. And you know, I, I felt like I would have been in a prime position to play the game, because I thought, you know, everybody, if anybody had watched the second show, everybody would be trusting me, which would have made me in a good position, maybe to form a couple of different alliances and, and take the, uh, go with the one that I, that I wanted to go with. So uh, yeah, I would, I would go again. And I exercise, I ride a, uh, of course I'm here today, uh, yesterday I rode a bike six miles, then walked five miles. And that's pretty well the way, and then uh, lifted weights this morning before I came up here. So it seemed like your cast was really, really tight. Are you guys still tight? Do you guys talk a lot or is it, has it been too long now to? Well, you know, several of us will talk over Christmas time. Uh, if we see each other at charity events. And yeah, we came off of that show, uh, I don't really think hardly any, it may have been one or two people that had some hard feelings uh, that got voted out early on. Um, but the last five or six of us that were out there, honestly, either any one of us could have won the million dollars and we would have all left our friends. And that was exactly the way that it, that it, uh, that it was. Are you still a fan of the show? Still what? A fan of the show. Oh yeah, two reality shows that I watch. I watch the uh, uh, Survivor. I've never missed a one, and I love the Amazing Race. Uh, love, love watching that show.